ಪಾಧಾವತ್ಸಾಧೀತಾಚ Hare Krishna. That's okay. Any, anybody else? Thank you. ಶ್ರೀ ಶುಕ ಉಚ ಶ್ರೀ ಶುಕದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಅಥ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ವಸುದೇವ್ ಏನ ದುಷ್ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆತ್ಮಜ ದೇರ್ಶನ್ ವೀಕ್ಷ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ಲಕ್ಷಣ with all the symptoms of the supreme personality of godhead vishnu devaki krishna's mother tam unto him krishna upadhavat of her prayers kamsad of kamsha bhita being afraid subhismita and also being astonished by seeing such a wonderful child translation shri shukadev goshami continued thereafter having seen that her child has all the symptoms of supreme personality of godhead devaki who was very much afraid of kamsa and unusually astonished began to offer prayers to lord krishna please repeat shri shukadev goshami continued thereafter having seen that her child had all the symptoms of the supreme personality of godhead devaki who was very much afraid of kamsha and unusually astonished began to offer prayers to the lord ಅದು ಪರ್ಫರ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಶಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಗೀ ಜಾಯ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸುಬಿ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ಟೋನಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ
Devaki and her husband, Vasudev, were assured that their child was the Supreme Personality of Godhead and could not be killed by Kamsa. But because of affection, as they thought of Kamsa's uh, previous atrocities, they were simultaneously afraid that Kamsa would be, Krishna would be killed. This is why the word Shubhismita has been used. Similarly, we are also astounded, we are also astounded upon thinking of whether this movement will be killed by the Asuras or will be continue, will continue to advance without fear. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> In the Krishna book, chapter 3, Srila Prabhupada begins writing um, uh, the quotation from Bhagavad uh, Gita, where in Krishna, uh, Srila Prabhupada says, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that anyone who understands the activities, the, uh, the appearance, the birth of Lord Krishna, will be transferred to the spiritual world. So that is the verse from Bhagavad Gita. Who knows? Thank you. Wonderful. Janma karma chame divyam evam yo vetti tattvata chaktva deham punar janma naiti maam eti shorjuna And then Prabhupada, another, uh, in, in one of the lectures, he describes that this in this material body, in this material body, we have the great, um, the great uh, troubles, the great troubles, such as, such as, janmamrityu jarabhyadhi dukkha dosha nudarshanam. So we have to take birth, and we have to die, we have to get old, and we have to be inflicted with so many horrible diseases, diseases in this body. So Sri Prabhupada explains that the scientists have been um, advancing in their knowledge. They have, been, um, they have been promising that we can stop death, but so far there is no, there is no uh, any solution to death. So many hospitals, so many this and that, that there is no cure for death. So Krishna has given here a very simple solution. It seems to be simple. That anyone who understands Krishna's birth, appearance and activities, evam yo vetti tattvata hasura prabhupada life, actually one who understands this, not only, not only knowing that Krishna's birth, um, appearance and activities are transcendental, how they are transcendental, in, in what sense they are transcendental, how, um, how it makes his activities transcendental, his birth, appearance transcendental, is that we know factually, then, then the, we, know, we are the knower of the truth. That we know the appearance of Krishna, we know who is Krishna. In the previous purport, Srila Prabhupada writes in the purport that Vasudeva knew who Krishna was. Vasudeva knew who Krishna was. And he prayed. At the same time, they are, they are afraid. Because Kansa is. Vasudeva mentioned the Kansa is an uncivilized guy, you know, uncivilized person. He has no sentiment. He has no sentiment that this little child I, should not, I must not kill. So he will come. If he knows, if he gets to know the, this little child, and of course this is the eighth child of Devaki, if he gets to know, he will come and kill. So they're, they're afraid. There is a, a fear there. So here in this sloka, the first word is Atha. 
atom is there after what is so far so far vasudev was praying vasudev saw the krishna you know the krishna up krishna's appearance how he appeared vasudev saw and he understood he understood this to be supreme personality of godhead but at the same time he understands this is my child this is my child and you can imagine how he is going through you know when you have a child at home you celebrate you celebrate some function some 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 ceremony and further in the chapter in chapter 5 when we get to know I and mean, we, we will we will know that when nanda maharaj got to know that he had a child his child was born when nanda maharaj got to know his child was born he didn't go to see what kind of child it was he was so happy he was so happy that he went to take bath and then he decorated himself and then you know then he went to the his kul guru sandilya muni and then requested please come to our house uh, my child is born i have got a child please come and chant some mantras swasti vachanam so vasudev is thinking what can i do i am so unfortunate you know propal mentioned that vasudev humbly thinking that he is unqualified of this position but he is thinking i am i'm not qualified because i'm in such a, such a condition my child is born but i can't do anything i can't do anything i can't invite priest i can't in, you know, have a function but then you know he 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 is thinking so much as a kshatriya you know it's, it's a great thing to have a child in a kshatriya they could be, uh, you know they could make a big function and give charity thinking all of these vasudev became overwhelmed what can i do i'm i'm caught here inside the prison unfortunately the lord has to appear in in my house right here in the prison so in this way thinking vasudev mentally he did mentally he did that you know millions of cows donated in charity to the brahmans in the mind and if you have studied bhakti rasamrita sindhu how it, how that works you know you do you do in your mind if you have if you have sincere devotion to krishna if you have sincere uh, bhav the, the feelings to krishna even even if you do from mind activities in mind that come comes out to be true and you the story of that uh, brahmana cooking sweet rice he was cooking sweet rice in the mind everything happened in the mind nothing was physically around in the mind he was cooking sweet rice and he was checking when the fish sweet rice was done he checked and his finger burned because it was too hot to offer so it is said i i forgot the exact quotation it is said in some places that in kali yuga this is special uh, facility for us that if we do pious activities in mind or anything good in mind that works really you know that is why we pray for the devotees you know devotees are in trouble in difficulties we pray we pray in our mind we may not be able to go to temple or do really you know physically but in our mind we pray and all these collective praise prayers really give the uh, benefit to devotees to the person in concern so vasudev mentally did gave in charity and then he started observing this child such a wonderful child tam adbhutam balakam ambuje kshanam chaturbhujam he says he has such a wonderful child i never seen such a such a child taking birth in this material world huh? and before before his birth we can we can see how how krishna came you know how krishna came as one previously uh, it is mentioned bhagavan api vishwatma 
Vishwatma, he is, he is the soul of every living entity. Bhaktanam Abhayankara, he, he gives fear, fearlessness to the devotees. Avivesam Sabhagena Mana Anaka Dunduhe. With his plenary portion, he entered in the heart of Vasudeva. In the heart of Vasudeva. And from there, he transferred himself in the heart of Devaki. And in, in the uh, uh, scripture, it is said that the heart of Devaki means the womb of Devaki. So Krishna went directly to the womb of Devaki. And Krishna stayed there, waiting for the uh, proper time. You know, because he's, he's independent, so he can, he can come, he can make his appearance anytime he wants, because he's independent, he's Swatantra. Sarvatantra Swatantra. There is nothing can, nothing can stop him from coming out. So he comes at the midnight, right in, in, inside the prison where Vasudev and Devaki is. <clears throat> so that is that that is how Krishna came, and it is the similar similar incidents also mentioned in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. One Lord Chaitanya, really, you know, coming to the um, heart of uh, Jagannath Mishra, and then is going to um, uh, Shachi Mata. So Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Sri Thakur explains that one should not, one must not think that Lord Chaitanya is a human, um, a human being, uh, uh, an ordinary human being. Because it's, 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 this is the nature of the transcendental personality. And so now Vasudeva is seeing this, this form, this just, just, just now, he has taken birth from Devaki. And he already has so many, you know, so much, so much of long, long, you know, curly hairs. Not only hair, then, then there, is, there, is a, there is a helmet on top of it. And not only helmet, there are so many valuable jewels studded in there. And not only helmet, there is, there, there is a, you know, the, the Vanamala on his garland. And not only Balamala, then there, there is a Kaustuva. All the symptoms that Supreme Personality of God is supposed to have is already there. And we have four hands. Chatur Bhujam. Hmm? In this world, anybody takes birth with the four hands, you'll be, you'll be afraid. Why these four extra arms there, you know? You know? Shishupal was like that. He was born with the four hands and three eyes. And mother was, mother was scared. Wow, what is that? I never seen four hands. You know. We'll be afraid to see that child with four hands. You know, not only four hands; that all every hands has the weapon already ready. Shankar Chakra got on those hands. Council, <coughs> the club, lotus, and disc. My goodness, the child just born and he already have everything ready. As if he's ready to kill Kamsa right now. Huh? Of course, Krishna has a purpose to do that. He appeared in that way to make sure my parents understand how many times I have come as their child. And then Krishna will tell after that, after, you know, now the Devaki is going to pray and Krishna will tell after that, you know, why I came, you know, I can tell you. you know, I'm already ready to kill Kamsa, you know, <laughs> so you don't have to worry, you don't have to be fear. So now that Dev, uh, Devaki is seeing, because first Devaki, of course, even though Krishna didn't take birth as a, as a, as a normal child, and there, there must not be any a fatigue in the part of Devaki. Uh, it was called the pain, pain of delivery. There must be, but Krishna made it such a way that Krishna appears and Devaki already because of, because of tiredness of the delivery, she fell asleep or she didn't know what was going on. So meantime, Vasudeva has seen the child and he had prayed. His wonderful uh, prayers he offered to Krishna. And, you know, the, the previous shloka was the last one, and then now Sri Sukhavu Vajra, Sri Goswami says, 
Now that at this time, as soon as Vasudeva finished his prayer, Devaki now noticed there's something going on here. My husband is murmuring, he says something, 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 but I don't know what's going on. Because when Krishna appeared, there was a, uh, uh, and it was called the illumination in the room. You know, the prison house are just generally dark. You know, there's not enough light. But Krishna appeared, there was so much light. There was so much light that they were, you couldn't see anything. Hmm? What is that? What's that? You know, you know, what is there? And finally, they were, could see, ah, enam, viksha. Now Krishna could see, Mahapurusha Lakshanam. Mahapurusha is referring to Supreme Personality of Godhead. So she can see the symptoms of Supreme Personality of Godhead and this child, this is my child? Devaki is wondering, yeah, this is my child? Is this my child? This is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I can see his four hands. You know, all this, the beautiful form, you can see over there. Mahapurusha Lakshanam. The, all the symptoms of Supreme Personality of Godhead is, is present in this form. So Devaki suddenly gets up from her bed and then starts to, start to pray, My Lord! And at the same time she's, she's Bhita. Bhita means afraid. She's afraid. Of, uh, even though she knows this is Supreme Personality of Godhead, he appears as my child. He can you know, he, who can kill him? But at the same time, Prabhupada explains here, um, that both of them simultaneously became afraid of thinking that, you know, how, how, what Krishna did so far. Six of the children mercilessly killed by Kamsa. So he may do the same. Kamsad bhita subhishmita. So the main point here is the Dibhaya, Bhita, Devaki is afraid. Even though where there, where there is a Krishna, there should not be no there should be no fear. Apanna Samsritim Ghoram Yannama Vivasho Grinan. Srimad Bhagavatam, the first canto, first chapter says, anyone who approaches Krishna, or even even though even one utters the holy name of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Sadhyo Vimucheta. Tata Sadhyo Vimucheta. He can be free from the fear immediately. Immediately. So where this, you know. So where is the question of being afraid? So it's just um, in Vriyad um, Vaishnava Toshana Sanatana Goswami explains, see, Krishna made it such a way. Krishna made it that Devaki and Vasudev be afraid. That Kansa will become, will, will come and do whatever. So, um, so Sri Prabhupada mentions here that Devaki is astonished to see, to see Krishna That my child, you know, as if she is thinking that what, what a qualification I had to have a Supreme Personality of God as my, as my child. Subhishmita. And, and when Vasudeva, Vasudeva was also, he was also wondering, you know, he was full of wonder. My goodness, the Supreme Lord as my son. So Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur analyzes there are four different types of wonder Vasudeva was going through. And we probably heard that before. I was traveling, so I was not, you know, in, in these classes. Anyone remember the four uh, four wonders that Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur mentions? So the first wonder, first wonder is the Lord was the Lord was not afraid to appear within the prison house of Kamsa. Yeah. Inside the room in Vasudeva's house, he could appear. You know, it's, it's normal to understand the child can born. The why Supreme Personality of God is taking birth in, in the prison house? Why Devaki and Vasudev was in a prison house? He could wait until they go out. But he was not afraid. The Krishna was not afraid to take birth in the prison house of Kamsa. 
Even though it's the prison house of Kamsa, Kamsa is so cruel, an un uncivilized guy. He can come and kill any, you know, kill Krishna any time. Krishna says it doesn't matter. You know, is it time for me to come? I will come. Hari Bol. Yeah. Second wonder. Although the Lord is all, pervade, all pervading, He had appeared from the womb of Devaki. Lord is everywhere, right? And Bhagavad Gita Sri Krishna says, I am unborn. I am unborn, I don't take birth. But here he makes a, make a, you know, make a show of taking birth. It's another, another wonder. Why is, why is that unborn has to take birth? Why in the world that the unborn has to take it, take it, you know, put himself as if he is taking birth? So Krishna replies there that Ajopisan Abhyatma. Ajopisan, even though I am unborn, and Abhyatma, I, I never, my body never perish. Abhyatma. Bhutanam Ishwarupisan. I am the Ishwar, I am the uh, Lord of everyone, all the living entity. But I take birth. Prakritim swam adhishtaya sambhavam atma mayaya. I take birth according to my own desire, according to my own sweet will. I take birth, I appear. So he's taking birth is like a, you know, actually Prabhupada explains that he's taking, the Krishna's taking birth here is, a, a, is like a, the sun, you know, sun rose this morning, right? And it'll be setting. Tomorrow morning again sun will rise. Do we say that this is a different sun? To, today just took, took birth? No, it's the same sun. It's making its appearance and disappearance. So similarly, Krishna appears and disappears. He doesn't take birth. So there Krishna's birth is, as we say, appearance of Krishna. Appearance of Krishna and disappearance of Krishna. So third wonder is, um, <clears throat> the third wonder, a child, the, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is born as a child. A child who has taken birth from Devaki's womb. And not only taken birth, even, you know, immediately after birth he is, he is seen to be decorated so wonderfully. Nothing lacking, you know. If you have any experience, a newborn child, he doesn't have any hair, maybe there are a few, few strands hanging in there, you know. And totally naked, no garments, no necklaces, right? No necklaces, and only two little hands, no four hands. So this child, this third wonder says that this child was born so decorated immediately after, take, after the birth. But he was, or, or, or we can say he was, he was born like that. The fourth wonder is the Supreme Lord, the worshipable deity of Vasudev, yet he has taken birth as his son. His, his, his very deity, of the, uh, his worshipable deity, the Supreme Personality of God, has taken birth as his son. These are the four, one, four wonders Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has analyzed. Um, so therefore Vasudeva is so you know, jubilant and, and, uh, and Devaki also, she became so, um, uh, so jubilant that she started praying, she started praying to Krishna now, you know. And one of the prayer I, I liked it very much, I always um, would like to quote, is, is so, um, uh, so nicely um, and described here. And, and uh, Srila Prabhupada, at, in Krishna book, as a summary, he, he says that, in this material world, in this material world, every living entity is fleeing from death, from one planet to another one body to another. Martyo mrityu rubyala bhita palayan lokan sarvan nirbhayam nadyagachat All the living entities, everyone, every one of us, fleeing from death, afraid of death, running away from death, one planet to another. 
one planet to another. Means, Mr. Prabhupada explains the karmis, they do some pious activities, and as a result of pious activities, they, they go upper planetary system, Swarga Loka, heavenly planets, wherever they go, they will, they will have thousands of years to live there, and at least for some time, they relieve from death. And then, then they go another planet, another pious activity, they go another planet, another place, so one planet to another is simply fleeing from the death. And, and of course, other, they leave this body and take another body. Vyalabhita praya palayan, the death is considered, that, that is compared as, um, um, as a snake, you know, the snake. Now we know that the one, one snake came to take the life of Par, uh, Parikshit Maharaj. The snake is, snake is, uh, snake is compared at, uh, to the to the death. And and in Padam Purana it is mentioned, Kala Vyala Mukha Grasa Trasa Nirnasa Hetave Srimad Bhagavatam Sastram Kaloki Rena Vasitam. Srimad Bhagavatam is spoken by Sukadev Goswami. For what purpose? For the purpose of releasing the living entity from the um, um, from the devour from the from, from the devouring of the mouth of the, that death-like snake, snake, death-like snake. So therefore, the point comes back that as, as uh, if we hear Srimad Bhagavatam and if we if we know if we understand this, if we understand Krishna's activities, Krishna's pastimes then we can be free from the death, right? And Devaki very nicely puts on her sloka, tvat padavjam prapya yadri chayaiva svasta shete mrityurasmada paiti If the living entity is a jiva, the jiva simply achieve your lotus feet, your transcendental lotus feet, take the shelter of your lotus feet, then he can be fearless, he can achieve the fearlessness and become free from the death. And Srila Prabhupada means, um, explains the word Yadri Chaya, Devaki is putting on, the, on our shloka, Yadri Chaya means by the mercy of the Lord. The unlimited living entities are wandering in the material world, Brahmanda Brahmite. Srila Prabhupada mentions also the, um, you know, the, um, the, all these planets, either we go topmost planets or low, low, lowest planet, wherever you go, Abrahma, Bhavana, Loka, Punara, Vartina, wherever you go, you always have to come back. So there is no cure. So therefore, Brahmanda, Brahmiti, Kona, Bhagyavan, Jeev, if one becomes fortunate enough by the mercy of Krishna, then Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Latavis. By the mercy of Guru and by, by the mercy of Krishna, one receives the, the, the seed of Bhakti Lata, the seed of Bhakti, devotional service. And from then, as he develops the attraction to Krishna, develops his devotional life, Mrityu Rasmada Paiti. Swastha sete, one becomes fearless. One becomes fearless because Krishna is my protector, Krishna is my Lord, Krishna, Krishna is my mother, Krishna is my father. Huh? So in this way one becomes free of death, becomes fear, no. Krishna's, uh, Krishna is known uh, as Abhay Charana. Bhaja hure mana. Sri Nanda Nandana Abhaya Charanara Vindare Abhaya Charanara Vinda The Krishna's lotus feet As we approach Krishna's lotus feet We receive, we achieve the fearlessness You know, Krishna's lotus feet are awarding us fearlessness Therefore, if we uh, be attached to them Then we become free from death Free from the fear of death hmm? That is the cure so, um, uh, there, is, there is a story, a devotee in Russia, is a Prabhupada disciple, uh, his name is Anantashesh, Navinirathu, you know? 
अनंत अनंत शक्ति या थैंक शांति अनंत शांति अनलिमिटेड पीस अनंत शांति प्रभु ही इज ही वर्क हार्ड इन हिज डिवोशनल लाइफ ही इज ट्राइंग टू बी एन एग्जाम्पल एन आइडियल डिवोरी and he went through so many difficulties trying to spread the krishna consciousness in russia after many years of his service he is he was inflicted with cancer and in due course of his his cure finally and he was told that he will you know he he has very little time now before he passed away as i heard the story before he passed away he opened his eyes and he told the devotees he told the devotees you know sri prabhupada is not cheating us sri prabhupada is not cheating us the process of krishna consciousness works the process of krishna consciousness works so before he died he probably have seen prabhupada in his you know probably they have seen krishna even so that he was expressing his feeling that you know my dear devotees please don't go away process of krishna consciousness works then he passed away so we can see so in the, from this we should not take it easy we should not take it easy we should not take it granted that prabhupada has given given us so you know we simply Uh, do the minimum and uh, move on we must try we must strive for the mercy of krishna we must try for the mercy of prabhupad shri prabhupad has gone through so much trouble to establish this krishna consciousness movement to establish this uh, hari krishna movement so that devotees can come together and um, and uh, achieve the ultimate goal of life and shri prabhupad mentioned in the, the last words of Prabhu, uh, the purpose here similarly we are also astounded upon thinking of whether this movement will be killed by the asuras or will continue to advance without fear so that is the, that is the test if we are able to cooperate with the with the each and our, uh, uh, each and every one um and so then this this movement will go on but out of pride or out of uh, false pride if we are not able to cooperate with the devotees in the movement then this will be there will be the fear that was going to happen so therefore prabhupada encourages us to 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 cooperate whatever happens Now, whatever happens, stay in, stay in the moment, and cooperate. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. So, any questions, comments in this regard? No comments. Jai Shri Prabhupad ki jai. Granthraj Shri Mad Bhagavatam ki jai. There is one question coming from the back here. Yes, Prabhu. Gargamuni is uh, Gargamuni is the uh, Kulguru um, of the Yadu dynasty, Kshatriya dynasty. Of course, the Brajbasi Nanda Maharaj is also Yadu Bamsi. but they because they live in different places as brother and they have occupation is different so they have kulguru as sandalya muni sandalya muni i think he is also disciple of garga muni the sandalya muni is given the charge of this uh, you know garga muni and, and there is a yeah there is a uh, consideration that if the, if if the sandalya muni goes to take the, the, do the name giving ceremony then council will um um, um uh, there, there was a consideration that if even though krishna and balaram vasudeva's son right so the uh, gargamuni is supposed to be should be going to give the uh, name giving ceremony 
But if obviously if Gargamani goes there, then Krishna and the Kamsa may doubt as if they are Vasudeva's children. So we have to do something about it. And knowing that Vasudeva secretly mentioned Gargamani that, you know, please go and do this, but, you know, uh, secretly. So Gargamani went there and Gargamani also informed that, you know, you always have tendency to make a big out of, you know, any, any function you do so big, so there will be problem. So let's do quietly. So in, in Gaushala it is done. Quietly, not, no people were invited. Just um, Rohini, Yashoda, Gargamani, Nandamara. That's four people in name giving ceremony. Uh, otherwise, every time they have the whole Brajavashi come and then we all, you know, big, big ceremony, big function. So that is there. The, but the Sandhya um, of course, when Krishna was born, for the Nandamara's invited Sandhya Muni and his, uh, and his uh, you know, associates to come and do the Swasti Vasanam. But for name giving ceremony, Gargamani personally went. Is that okay? Right. Thank you. There's another one. Is there a reason that God is holding some kind of lotus and other kind of the chakra for killing the demon and how for the chakra? Is it not holding the chakra? Yeah, the sun. Okay, do you want to repeat the question? <laughs> Mike is. Hare Krishna. Oh, I was wondering if there is any reason that Lord is holding Shankha and Kamala, Padma. I understand that He is holding the chakra to kill and Gada also for similar purpose. Yes, uh, good question. Shankha and, and, and uh, okay, the chakra, the disc, as Sudarshan chakra, right? So this is very well known that Krishna um, release Sudarshan chakra whenever there is really serious, okay? I mean, serious, serious. Um, a situation you know, like we see the Krishna release Sudarshan Chakra to finish uh, Dushasan, you know, who was really criticizing and bad mouthing Krishna in such an auspicious occasion. So that that is okay. Then then uh, the uh, the club the Gada is also to punish the demons. And what to do with the uh, the council and club? And if you know the Krishna, uh, uh, as Lord Vishnu, uh, came to see Dhruva. Yeah? When, uh, you know, Dhruva st- stopped even breathing, and demigod had a problem with that. They couldn't breathe because Dhruva stopped breathing. And then they went to Lord Vishnu. You know, we, we, can't, we can't breathe anymore. What, you know, what's going on? And Lord Vishnu said, okay, there is my devotee who is really severely performing austerity, I will go to see him. And Bhagavatam says, Madhur Vanam Bhartri Didrik Shayagataha. The Lord went to see Dhruva in Madhuvan to, the, to see, if, with the desire to see this boy, this devotee. So as he went, Dhruva was so astounded, you know. Uh, he stood up with folded hands, but he didn't know what to say. He's a little boy, he never been to school. You know? But Krishna understood, the Lord understood, he wants to pray, he wants to offer prayers, but he doesn't know what to say. So the Lord kindly touched his counsel uh, to, to the, to the cheek of Dhruva. Then as soon as it was touched, and Dhruva could say so many wonderful prayers. So it, it gives knowledge. The counsel is to give knowledge to devotees. And uh, lotus is, is for peace. You know? Lakshmi also holds lotus. She holds um, gold coins in one hand, in another hand she holds peace. You know? if, you, if you offer lot, uh, all the gold coins to the service of Lord, then she gives you peace. You know, if, you don't, if you don't offer, if you just use it, all the gold coins for yourself, then Krishna will come with a club. Hari Vol. Hare Krishna. Yes. He was meditating. And yes. so, then, you know, he was struck wonder, you know, and then you know, when he opened, he Yes. 
ఆల్ వండర్ఫుల్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్ హరే కృష్ణ సుల ప్రభుపాద్ కీ జాయ్ గ్రంథరాజ్ శ్రీమద్ భాగవతం కీ జాయ్